Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another vlog. I'm a bit of a mess at the moment and behind me is a bit of a mess to be honest. Today, I'm actually heading down to Melbourne for an event. It's a Kat Von D event. She was meant to be going, but she pulled out. So, but yeah, it still should be pretty good. I think it's for the launch of her new brow products, which will be a nice. So there's a press conference and then there's a cocktail event afterwards that I am going to. I'm going to drive, uh, which, you know, I'm driving just out of Melbourne and leaving my car there with a friend at her workplace. And then we are heading into, I think the first event is in St. Kilda. And I'm like, I am, I can't, I, no. Not even going to attempt to drive to St. Kilda alone. <laughs> so it's about 10.30, so I showered, washed my hair. Oh my god, my hair was a hot mess. I hadn't washed it in like since the weekend and it's Thursday. And I'm just about to start editing another speed cleaning my house video. Hopefully this one, I don't know, I filmed them and I'm like, I don't know how they're going to turn out, but my last one did really well like i got really positive feedback on it so i'm just like eh, okay well i'll do it again <laughs> i probably need to charge this camera before i go just to make sure it has enough battery i think one of the hardest decisions is deciding which lashes to wear today like honestly i've like you would have seen in the last haul all these lashes from nakia's lash line and then there's jacob's lash line like i just don't know what to do like i legit have this whole big box of lashes and Oh my god, I feel so blessed. <laughs> we had an Anzac Day yesterday. It was a public holiday in Australia. And to be honest, I didn't do much. I feel like I was PMSing because I was just in the worst mood. Yeah, that was my life yesterday. Um, <laughs> who doesn't have those days though, right? <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to go and I need a, I want to edit a little bit of this video and then start to get ready for the event. I have to leave in two hours, so I should probably just start getting ready to be honest and then edit. I always do that. I'm so bad with time management that I'm like, oh, I'll do this little bit before I go and like before I start to get ready. And whereas I should get ready first and then do my little bit afterwards after once I'm ready, if you get what I mean. Okay guys, so I failed <laughs> vlogging, but I'm at the event, and as I usually say, I'll oh, with Sinead. Literally every time. <laughs> Literally <laughs> every vlog. Hi, Sinead. Hi, my dick is so white in this lighting. This light is so bright. I know. Um, we just ordered, we just got to the event and we just ordered like a cup of tea, coffee, whatever. And um, yeah, I'll show you around the event. We're at, um, what is it called? Jo the George or something? I've got no idea. It's in St. Kilda on yeah. Fitzroy Street. Yeah. Oh my god, we literally it's have no beautiful. idea. It looks like a chapel kind of church. Yeah. Yeah. It's amazing in here though. It really suits the brand. Yeah. It's definitely. on point for yeah. sure. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so there's all these seats down here and then there's going to be a panel. Ooh, thank you. And there's a panel and there's the ceilings and then all over there there's heaps of makeup to check out. Oh my god, the sparkles. Oh, that's pretty. So we're just looking at some of the makeup on display. Oh yeah, these are the new brows. Gonna get copyright strike. <laughs> oh yeah, cute. All right. Hi everyone. My name is Kelly Nolan. I'm the country manager for Kendo here in Australia. On behalf of Cat Von D Australia, I am so privileged to honour and welcome you all here today to spend the afternoon with us and of course the Artistry Collective. Please let me introduce you to Kelly Collier, the Cat Von D. Global Vice President of Marketing and PR. Um, I am beyond thrilled. We have the whole team here all the way from California to spend the afternoon with you. And let me remind you, this is a momentous occasion. Not only is it our 10 year anniversary this year, but we're back in Australia with some of our very favorite people. And we're here for a brow, right? Can we like have a cheer for brow? Hi guys! <laughs> so nice to see you. Um, so 
before I was working with Kat, I originally got into makeup because I was super into art. It's like all I did through school. It's what I could spend all my time doing, like hiding in the art room. It's not something where, like, as if I was rolling up to a normal set, I wouldn't do a bunch of face tricks. I'd be like, oh, this is what I'm gonna do, and they would just be like, okay. But she needs to see everything and like know all the details and specific placements and what brush you're gonna use. So I think for me, it's really allowed me and challenged me to really think everything through. So I go with like an exact map of what I'm going to be doing and what beforehand, so it can actually alleviate some quite a bit of stress. Okay, so we have just had a play with the brow frogs and I realized I should have looked it after I wiped them all off of my hair. Um, <laughs> I know, what do you want from me? Hey, I, um, I, I drove over the west gate today. Huh? I drove over the west gate today. I know. Like that's a, that's a so good enough accomplishment. I'm so proud of her. Okay guys, I'm home. It's about 9.30. I'm really proud of myself for my driving. <laughs> I know I said this last vlog, but honestly like, I feel a lot more independent now that I've driven a few places. I know that seems so crazy, but like honestly like Dean just drives everywhere because he drives, like he was used to driving so often with his job. So, and I'm just like, I'm fine not driving. <laughs> so I've never really, I've never driven in a city and I'm not good at lanes and things like that. Just like not confident. And I know some of you guys can relate as well, but I'm actually so proud of myself. And yeah, anyway, um, so I'm home. I, I have a goodie bag, so I'm gonna show you what I got. I haven't even properly looked in here. So I just, I don't even know what's in here. So we got this when we came in which is like this little clutch. I think it's super cute. And I might need to. In the clutch, we have this, no cocoa. We have this like little mirror. I can't even see which way, there we go. That way around, see how it's got the Kat Von D logo on it. And little mirror, you can see Coco. Is that even working? Where is she? There she is, hello. <laughs> and then we have one of these little uh, mini lipsticks in, hold on, let me read it. This one's called K-Dub. You like that one, do you? And then I think this is a, 
what is it called super trooper tattoo liner so a black liquid pencil um not pencil pen eyeliner oh we have the hand mirror <gasps> so it looks like this oh my gosh this is so cute that's awesome that's a really cool gift we have the shade and light glimmer which is so pretty they've repackaged the packaging on their shade and light i don't know there you go see how the writing is 3d and it's like a lot more sturdy it's like plastic whereas the other one that i've got the original one is like cardboard look at look at this shimmer though like a taupe brow struck now this is the powder that has shimmer in it so this is for this is a brow powder right and do you see that shimmer in it it's meant to re look really really nice in photos coco no you can't eat that <laughs> and we also have medium brown in the powder or oh, we've got another eye brush everlasting liquid lipstick in the same color as the mini one Ooh, we have two uh, brow pomades these are called the super brow and they're meant to be 24 hour i have magenta and medium brown so who would like to see me with pink brows because they're like what i showed you guys at the event really cool um and then we have a lipstick in the color sanctuary i don't know cool tone brownie medium brown Ooh, that smells good then we have another liquid lipstick in ludwig go <laughs> go Yes, okay, I love you. It's like a light nude, this red color. Then we have these Signature Brow Precision Pencils. I've got light brown and graphite. This one just has the little spoolie on the end and then just like a really, do you see how thin that is? Oh my gosh. Thank you so much, Kat Von D Beauty. That's amazing. I've got so much, so many new goodies. I can't, I'm actually going to try out the pink brows, like, at some point. I don't know when, uh, but I just want to try it out and have a play. <laughs> um, I wasn't brave enough to get my brows done in a different color tonight, but, um, I'll, I'll try it. Um, I'm going to head to bed because I'm actually quite exhausted. Um, but I will continue to vlog over the next couple of days. I was going to work tomorrow, but that's been cancelled. So I should be able to finish my speed cleaning video, which will be awesome. It's actually really, like, I think I enjoy watching it because it kind of motivates me too. <laughs> so silly. How does, like, watching me clean my own house, like, motivate me? Like, obviously it does, but it's just, what is my life? <laughs> All right, well, I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Before I go, I just wanted to mention because I saw a few comments. These glasses are my Ralph Lauren glasses. They look like this. I just, oh, I just got them from OPSM. And if you're wondering what I had on my lips, it was Kylie Jenner Commando Velvet Liquid Lipstick. And on my eyes, I had the Shanexo palette from BH Cosmetics. So yeah, I just thought I'd let you know about my glasses. Okay, bye. Hey guys, it's the next day and I, oh, there's a hair. I was just about to start filming. Uh, I was going to film the Too Faced It Comes, It Just Comes Naturally collection. And I even cleaned up my room a bit and everything. And as soon as I just turned on the camera, someone started mowing their lawn. There's all kinds of noises going outside. Like, just listen. So. I'm pretty pissed off. Also, with the, you know, weather and seasons changing, it's 10 to 4, but this used to be, you know, sometime around this time in the afternoon was a good time to film. But now, I think it's going to be a little bit too dark, so I think 2 p.m. needs to be my cutoff for filming, which is a shame because I find that I'm more productive in the afternoon, like filming-wise. I'll have to rethink my filming schedule, but now I've done most of my face, and I was just going to use like the palettes and the lipsticks and everything from there to finish off the rest of my face. But now I'm like, I probably won't because I can't film it because of all of the noise. It is so loud and I haven't even got a window open. <laughs> FML. I just need to do the thumbnail for my uh, cleaning video because I did that this morning and then I'll pop that up tomorrow, which I'm excited for you guys to see because I like clean my closet in it and I know that I haven't shown too much of my closet 
on this channel and it is a video that I definitely do want to do but I just there was one thing that I wanted to do before I did like a closet tour and I just haven't done it because I'm a lazy bitch. Like I just wanted to DIY these drawer organizers and I wanted to film it and I bought all the stuff and I just never got around to doing it because I know it will take me like a day to do and I've just really put it off. So that's why I haven't done that. <laughs> I think Dean said he's working tomorrow actually so he should be home pretty soon and then we're getting some dirt delivered for the backyard. We're putting down seed in the backyard so hopefully we'll have some grass soon. I know so many people ask for like updates in our backyard but honestly like there's just a few garden beds and some dirt. <laughs> Guys, Dean just got home before we were just like being silly, chasing each other around the, around the lounge room, around the house. <laughs> and he kept picking up the mink and like throwing it at me. And then he picked up like one of these cushions and, and he threw it at me. And now we need to wash it. <laughs> That's my forehead on the cushion. <laughs> so I've just taken it off and hopefully I can wash it and it comes up okay. Because otherwise, well, see ya. <laughs> hey guys, it is the next day. It is Saturday today and I have just filmed, finally. I filmed with the Too Faced It Just Comes Naturally collection. So this is my finished look. What do you guys think? <laughs> now I really, really love the collection. The lipsticks especially are freaking amazing. See, I don't want to overwhelm myself with filming too much, but like I'm kind of in a filming mood. I did want to film with the Kat Von D brow stuff but then maybe I'll save it for another video like a whole video where I use all the stuff in it. So oh, I also filmed with the Glam Glow um, the glitter mask today as well. <laughs> it's the peel off mask. I did pick it up out of my bin so it was all like blah. Um, that was fun. That was actually really fun. So I filmed that this morning and now um, the Too Faced collection is filmed. Um, I can probably go on to editing some stuff. I'm halfway through editing my Kmart makeup video. That's pretty much my life today. Just working on a Saturday. It is 1.18 and I don't know. I feel like my eating schedule is all mis mixed up at the minute. So I haven't had anything to eat, but like I've been, I've been not good. I filmed a video the other week about keto and plateauing with weight loss and things like that, which I wanted to put out this week. I just didn't get a chance to edit it. I don't know. Everything changes week to week with like what I'm eating and how I'm feeling and everything like that. You know what it is? It's sugar. Like once you get a hit of it, it's so addictive. <laughs> <laughs> and it's hard to get off of it. But I need to um, get myself back into gear. I think that's what I'm just going to do. I'm just going to go up and down. Like, you know, I can't just... I'm not going to be, like, super hard on myself because... I've lost majority of the weight that I wanted to lose. It's just maintaining it for me now anyway, which is what I talked about in, in the video that I filmed. But anyway, I might make myself a cup of tea and then see how I feel. Dean's at work today and yeah... My tummy just grumbled, but I'm not like hungry. Is that weird? Hey guys, I haven't vlogged in a while and I needed to finish this vlog off because I didn't actually finish it off. So today is a Monday. We actually got home from Sydney. Then and I had a little getaway. Um, we went there Thursday and we got back last night. It was really, really nice. We just went to see our friend Jamie and, um, and Alana, which we met them on our top deck tour that we did four years ago. <laughs> so it's really nice that we still stay in contact with them and we spent a day in the city and then we um, went and stayed out at Parramatta for two nights. Um, we went to the grounds of Alexandria. Oh my god, it is stunning. If you haven't been there, you definitely need to go. I'm putting up heaps of photos on my Instagram. Um, I think I've only put up two so far, but I've got heaps more to come. So beautiful. And then we went to, um, I don't know if anyone is familiar with Sydney um, or even the area, but we went to this place like a club and it's called Wenty Leagues or Wenny. Um, and we went there for dinner and a few drinks after, you know, at night on Saturday. And then on Sunday, we actually had a Mother's Day brunch thing at the Novotel, Novotel in Parramatta. That was really, really lovely. So we, um, you know, spent it with Jamie's family. <laughs> we gate crashed their Mother's Day. But we booked the trip without realizing it was Mother's Day, like, 
ages ago. We booked it and then Jamie's like, so you realize that that weekend is Mother's Day? And we're like, ah, oh, shit. But it was really, really nice. Her family's so sweet. And then, yeah, came home yesterday and today I've just been like doing washing, cleaning up a bit, trying to get things organized. And I did film a look today. I filmed this look here, which I want to put up tomorrow actually. And I tried out a whole heap of Australian drugstore makeup, you know, like from the chemist or Priceline. It was a bit of a fail, to be honest. I think mainly because of the base products, they were not working well together. But I got there in the end, it's like four o'clock. <sighs> I feel like I've just wasted today, even though I haven't really. And then tomorrow I'm actually going back to the Complete Skin Specialist to have a peel done on my face which I have never had one done before, so that will be interesting. And I really wanted to bring you guys along, um, but I thought I'd just add it into this vlog because I hadn't actually finished it and I don't know what kind of footage I've got from the other week when I filmed this. It's really nice to not vlog in Sydney and just spend some time with Dean and get away and not document my whole trip kind of thing and just take photos when I wanted to. And I don't know, like as much as I do enjoy vlogging, I also enjoy not vlogging, if that makes sense. I know like I had a few questions on some of my vlogs saying, oh, would you ever like, you know, consider vlogging again kind of thing. And I don't think I'll ever vlog like I used to. I wasn't happy, to be honest. It didn't make me happy. So I just want to vlog when I want to, when I want to show you guys things, when I think I'm doing something kind of interesting. Even though for some reason I feel like you guys prefer the home vlogs more than anything. I don't know why. I fixed up my lights today. I doubled them up. So basically they were like hanging down, like all the way down there. And I've doubled them up and I've sucked them behind there. So I did that this morning and cleaned that and I cleaned this, believe it or not, and now it's all dirty again and I've still got so much makeup left to try. So I'll do another video, but I tried all of this stuff out today. And I was just playing with my lighting setup. I added in this other soft box, but I don't think I like it. I don't like it at all, actually. I'll show you guys Coco because she is so funny. Like when we were, if you watch my like, wow, that's gone yellow. When I did my cleaning the house video, you could see her in the background. She was just doing this. What are you doing? You getting them sunnies? You being a bit lazy. She missed us so much. She was just walking around crying, especially if we like left the room, she'd just start crying. Won't ya? I'll show you some packages that I got. I got this one from Mac, which has heaps of stuff in it. It has this wrist taker palette, if I can open it. So that's what that one looks like. Got a lip liner in Boldly Bare. We have a Prep and Prime lip base. We have this pink, does that say pink lit? Pink light, oh, you can't see the E on the end. <laughs> Uh, Fix Plus, so I'll oh, show you guys this. You just shake it. Hold on. Ooh, that looks so pretty. Some mascaras, I think, and then what's this? A lip scrub, skin finish in soft and gentle, strobe cream, which I've always wanted to try, and then we have um, Ruby Woo, which I've never tried either. So I'm excited to try that. And then this is Velvet Teddy. Also got some packages from Model Co. I haven't tried this before. Tan airbrush in a can. And then we have a Lip Plump Hydrotherapy. This is a highlighter. Oh, I'll show you this in the light. I don't know if that's too bright. You might not even be able to see it. That's really nice. That would look gorgeous mixed in with foundation for a night out. Or even just like take a beauty blender and put it on top of your cheekbones. Like, so pretty. Then we have a mascara and some brow little, it's like a gimme brow type thing. Then we have the, is it Carl Lagerfeld? They've got these really out there packaging, like it's crazy. So there's a couple of like lipsticks, lip glosses, and then I think these are stamps. They're like these little stamps that are on the end, which is really cute. And then this is a fiber lash mascara. No idea what this is. Oh, so you've got this lipstick up this end. And then, oh, okay. All 
right. And then a gold at the other end. Oh, I see, base top coat. So I think that these ones are like collector's edition kind of thing. But thank you so much for sending them my way, Model Co and Mac. So I'm going to finish editing off this video. Actually, I've barely even started, so I'm gonna edit it basically. Um, yeah, I wanted to do more editing today and I just didn't get the chance. And then tomorrow I've gotta go to Sunbury. So I didn't plan my day well enough. So we haven't got grass yet. The grass seed has been in for like um, a week now and there's no grass yet, but hopefully it'll come through in the next couple of days. No grass. Just grass seed. These plants are looking so good though. Good morning guys, it's the next day and I actually could not find the vlogging camera. I left it in the mink blanket and it's um, it's a dark colored blanket and it was very hard to see this. I'm just heading off to my appointment in Sunbury, but I am taking you along with me so you can experience a cosmetic peel as well. But yeah, I need to get on the road, so yeah, I'll see you there. Okay, so we're just about to do a peel. I've got Belinda in the background <laughs> and this is my skin before. So as you can see, I have had a few flare ups because I actually missed my last appointment because I couldn't make it. So we're going to have a peel which is going to get in to all my pores, clean them all out and um, take away all of my dead skin cells and just, you know, clean everything up. So yeah, let's go. These are the products that we're going to use for the peel. So what have we got here? So we've got uh, salicylic acid at 12% and we've got um, lactic acid at 20%, uh, which we're going to use both. So one of them is for um, cleaning out the pores and balancing the pH and you've got your other one for hydration. So this looks like my serum that I've got at home. Correct. So that your serum actually has both of these ingredients in it. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Um, and then we've got all our support products back here. So you've got your cleanser and okay. moisturizer, exfoliants, um, Perfect. and free prep. Love the packaging, it's really nice. Yeah, it's good. Okay, so I have my one part of the mask on and we have this thing that machine that blows cool air because it stings a little bit and it's just like, I wish you could see the air, but anyway, you can't, it makes no sense, but it's pretty cool. Okay, so we have finished the peel. Um, the last part of it reactivated the salicylic, wait, salicylic? Yeah. Salicylic acid and it, um, it stung a bit. And now we've just uh, put some moisturizer on and um, yeah, I've been advised not to wet my face for four hours because I can reactivate it and um, then it will start stinging again. But um, yeah, I don't plan to do that, but just an FYI, uh, these peels cost $90 and um, it's, yeah, you can see how glowy my skin is, like you're totally right. And um, it's so funny because my skin reacts so much, like I'm sure you guys would have seen in like videos when I do face masks or whatever, my skin reacts and turns red quite easily. Um, and even after I had my filler that time, and um, it feels like tingly, but it's like, you know, that's my normal redness kind of thing, you know what I mean? Yeah, for what it's done and it's taken off like dead skin and everything like that, it's, it looks amazing. I just got home. Now I did have some extractions done because it had been a few weeks since my last visit. Yes, Coco. Um, and I had a few come up. So um, that's why my skin looks like this at the moment. Looks like I've had the chicken pox. Oh, hello. You want to be on the vlog? Huh? Hey? You've been cold, haven't you? Come on, on the chair. Good girl. You get a package, which I think it's the L'Oreal lipsticks. So I'm gonna open that. Ooh. So L'Oreal and Balmain. Look at this. This is just like, that's like, oh my gosh, this is so luxe. So they have. All of these lipsticks, there's three different collections. So let me look at this. So these are limited edition. So we have the Rock Collection, Couture, and then Safari. Um, so $24.95 each and available from June. So coming out really, really soon. 
this afternoon I have to edit a video for Thursday and then I wanted to film a wardrobe declutter because I really really need to tidy it up and fit in heaps of new stuff but I don't know what to prioritize <laughs> I feel like I need to do the wardrobe now. Like I want to do the wardrobe first. So I probably need to edit more so. <laughs> I've still got these flowers from the thousand hour event. Um, look at this. Did you, oh my God, you probably didn't even, she just reached up, put her, both of her paws on me. She needs some attention. And I didn't leave the heater on for her, so she's cold. I totally forgot to vlog, but I've been chatting to my friends on base, what is it called, FaceTime? I've just cooked dinner. So we've got lamb chops, veg. Or oh, half of these veg are gone, mine's chopped up. But that's what I've been doing. <laughs> okay, so I'm having a dessert. I'm having a keto choc lava cake. And I actually found this almond flour in Coles the other day. It was $12 though for 275 grams. <laughs> So I wanted to try it with the almond flour. Um, so I'm just in the process of making that because previously I've only used almond meal. Um, almond flour is a, of course a lot more fine. So yeah, I'm just whipping that up. I've melted some chocolate with butter and then uh, I have some egg and baking powder, vanilla essence, and now I'm gonna put this in and then I need to use some artificial sweetener as well. Okay, so I've never seen almond flour before and it kinda just looks like almond meal to be honest. So I'm probably not gonna see that much of a difference. I have no idea. Okay, I'm gonna try it with stevia, but I really freaking hate stevia. Like I just don't like it at all. But I'm just gonna try it this time. This is what the mixture looks like so far. Okay, so it's all in his little thing. I made pizzas last night and I'm using the same dirty tray, so see you I will see you soon, my pretty. I actually filmed this video like a while ago, but I, the thing about like recipes and especially like this is I wanna make sure that they're the best they can be. You know what I mean? Because I'm just making the recipe up. Like I've taken one, but I'm altering it a little bit. So I wanna find out what works best. I also really wanna get some good lighting. So I think I might film this. And I need to film the cheesecakes too. Um, I need to film them on a weekend, but then like I forget on the weekend. Like I always feel like dessert late at night not late, it's not even late, it's like six, it's quarter to seven. Um, I always feel like it, you know, this time during the week. I don't usually feel like it on the weekend, but I'll just like force myself to, just force myself to have to some dessert on the weekend. <laughs> so that'll take a, like 10 minutes or so in the oven. Yeah, I got so distracted when I came home by Coco because she wanted love. So I gave her love and then Dean came home and then I was just talking to my friends on chat for a little bit about our day and um, then it was dinner time. So yeah, I better clean up this mess and by the time that's done, I just feel like relaxing tonight. I've still got like my outfit on, like my jeans and boots. These are my boots from Target. These are from Forever New. And then um, this jumper is just from Dottie, but I got it last year. You can see all the cocoa hair on it. Um, but yeah, I think I might just relax tonight and then tomorrow um, I can edit. But Thursday's video should be pretty easy to edit because it's just a face mask. So it won't actually take me too long, or it shouldn't. You know, I just hate kind of like coming home from work and working kind of thing. Um, but anyway, it should be fine. I don't know what time I put it in there. But it looks cooked, but it's not bouncing back at all. Oh, it's bouncing back a little. Okay, guys, it is... The moment of truth. Got it here. Damn. Oh, this one is good and gooey. It's gooey. It's so gooey. Ready, ready, ready. <gasps> oh. Yo, yeah. that might be too gooey. Oh, I'm sure it'll be delish. Oh my god, my mouth okay, is way. So the. Stevia wasn't the best, but it was still really delicious. I did have some ice cream with it, just the birthday cake halo top ice cream as well. So yeah, that was pretty good. I think I'm gonna end this vlog here. Hopefully it's long enough, I have no idea. And yeah, I hope you guys are doing really, really well. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.